Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I had so many plans for this week. <laughs> and then my printer croaked. And so I'm working on getting a part to get that fixed. It's supposed to be here Wednesday, which I really hope so because, um, yeah, I've got some things for you guys. And so I need to be able to use my printer. But anyhow, so since this kind of put a... Uh, wrench and everything I wanted to do I'm going to show you a couple different uh, ways to do some tag journals or um, if you wanted to use Christmas cards you could do that that would be another fantastic thing to use and um, you can even use old ones uh, that you've gotten in the past and then maybe cover up where the um, greetings are or that kind of thing I'm going to be using pieces of ephemera that I've made and kind of have you know kind of random sizes and things like that so this type of journal binding is good if you have different sizes um, if everything's the same size like they're all tags that are the same size that other um, method of you know doing the tabs three, two, three, two, like that works well. Um, but this is more for pieces that may not all be the same size so that, you know, you can hook things together. Um, and I mean, it'll work in place of the other version too. It's just that other versions kind of looks cool and is fun. So I'm going to use fabric again. You can use paper and I'll show you paper in just a minute. But for this one, I'm going to use fabric little tabs. Um, it's just a little bit more simplified than the switching, you know, between two different sizes of tabs. Um, hold on, I gotta get the glop of glue off of my tacky glue. So how are you guys all doing? I hope that you are all fantastic. I am doing well, just trying to get the last of the Christmas things done and, um, yeah, so anyhow, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, it's, it's always a little bit crazy this time of year, I have to say. So we are going to say hugs and blessings to Nikki, Robin, and Nan. Thank you guys so much for always watching my channel. A lot of you have been with me pretty much since the beginning. Um, and I appreciate you guys very much. So thank you for joining me. So this is, uh, you know, a very simplified version of doing tabs. You're basically just going to take however many tabs it takes you to hook it to the piece um, next to it. So I'm going to use two tabs because this one's not very tall. Some of these pieces I may use three depending on the size of the piece that it's attaching to um, and the size of the piece itself. Two tabs really should be enough for most uh, pieces. I don't really feel like you need um, more than two unless you know you're doing the two three two three kind of or three two or whatever thing. But I feel like two tabs is good and you can make them any size that you want. So what I wanted to do with this one, because I've got this uh, lovely trim here, I thought it would be good to connect this one on, um, you know, just above where that trim starts. So I'm just gonna kind of hold it here. And you kind of want to leave, if you can, just a little bit of a gap. I mean, obviously it's really hard to like measure and be super duper precise, but uh, you kind of want to leave just a, just a little space. You just don't want these tabs tight, which I've talked about doing the other tabs as well, because if they get too tight, then um, you can't open and close it very easily. It kind of gets like, you know, it's too tight. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> so anyways, that's kind of what we're doing here is just adding these tabs. So this is nothing hard and you can do this with paper or fabric. So this is a very uh, simple way to do tabs, which um, is nice because then you don't have to worry about what did I just do, you know, two or three or uh oh, it won't fit like that, whatever. You're just basically putting tabs on uh, wherever it fits and works for the piece that you're doing. So you guys all ready for Christmas? I think I'm just about there. I still have some things to wrap, but um, you know, that's, 
that's easy enough to do. I'm just glad I'm done mostly with the shopping because that's the part that ugh, I don't I don't love. And you could uh, stitch these if you wanted to, but you're going to have to do some planning ahead in order to do that. And I'm, I didn't because this is just um, sort of a last minute thing that I could think of where I didn't need a printer. I don't have um, any of my stuff ready to go for that next journal and I'm not doing it for a while. So I kind of wanted to still play around with a few wintry or Christmas things so that's what we're gonna do so you just want to be careful like I am folding this right now but you you want to think about is it going to end up sticking together so but you do kind of want to have it folded over to do the next one and so on so here's our little snowman that we did yesterday yeah I'm like what day is it oh my goodness that's the only thing when you film ahead you do get a little off on your time and I don't really worry about you can um, cut all your fabric ahead of time so that they are all the same size kind of thing um, this is a strip that's the same width and it's probably just like not quite an inch probably three quarters of an inch um, but you you can choose the size that works for you and then you just keep adding tabs. So this one's a little bit easier because you don't have to think about, like I said, two and three and what direction do they go and all that. So, and these are fun. I've done lots of these uh, using like old Christmas cards and uh, just Christmas journals in general, little ones that could be used as stocking stuffers or whatnot. They make great gifts. And then I do usually, when I make these type, put them in a, uh, what do you call that? Music page sleeve, like I did with that, with that other journal that time. Not too long ago. The biggest thing is that you can see, you start to get that stair step sort of thing going on. And you can trim these down more. Yeah. Um, if you want to, you may have to, I'm actually going to pause you guys and grab my little clamps. So hold on just a minute. Okay. I guess, um, paper clips will also work. I always forget about paper clips, but I do have a couple of bulldog clips too, because this is just not wanting to stick together. That's why Fabri-Tac would probably be smarter for something like this. But. Me no likey that. <laughs> so I use Aline's, which works fantastically. It just takes a bit to dry. So that's okay. We'll make it work somehow, maybe. Oh, come on now. That other side's gonna stick just fine, of course, but this side doesn't wanna stick because, you know, it's hanging. Really, the paper clips would work better. I'm just gonna flip it over and hope it will stick there. So anyways, what are you guys up to? That one might be a little short. Like I said, I'm pretty much done. Just have some, well, food, but that'll be another day. That's for another day. Oh my goodness. I normally don't have trouble with this and I'm realizing why, because I, don't, I normally use paper. Fabric's a little different beast. So maybe if you do these kind of tabs, it might be good to just use, go ahead and use some um, paper. I'm just 
just gonna do this. And then I will take something and put it in here so that those don't stick together, those pieces of fabric. Okay. <laughs> All the things, right, that you don't think of at the moment when you decide to do this. I haven't done this with fabric before. I've only ever done it with um, um, paper. So there you go. It's posing a problem. And this one I'm going to kind of put in the middle like I did that other little one. So yeah, paper might be a much better idea. Or put your tabs on. See, if you have time to just let things set, then you're going to be a lot better off. So put your tabs on. Um, let those get dry. And then hook them to the other piece that you could just, you know, lay it on or whatever. That would probably be the smart, smartest way to do it if you've got the time to let it set. I do have my heater going today because it is not very warm. We got rain all night again. Obviously it's above freezing or we would have got snow all night, but yeah. I've had quite a bit of rain. I mean, that's pretty normal for November, but usually in December we get snow. So that's a little bit weird, but Basically, you just got to fiddle with this until it's how you like it. <laughs> oh, that's always something. And then this one, I'm going to try to make even with the uh, first one. So that, you know, this probably won't be the best standing up book ever. Just because of all the different sizes. But, it's okay. I have public domain Christmas music going, but I have it very low, so I'm not even sure if you guys can hear it. I just don't want to get dinged by YouTube. It says it's public domain, but knowing my luck, it wouldn't be, and then I would be... Get my video taken down. about here and the other one needs to go about here like I said if I was doing this and had time I would let these dry before trying to hook the other ones on but we want to get our video done at some point in this day so we're just gonna try to power through and see where we get it may be a disaster in the end, who knows. We'll learn a lesson, right? <laughs> if nothing else. <gasps> I think that will work. I don't know how straight they're gonna be, that might be a problem. See, paper sticks a little more quickly, obviously, so you don't have this problem. I'm just trying to straighten these out a little bit. So hopefully it will open. Okay, last one. This may be just a disaster and Go in the garbage bin. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. My 
Abby got to go have dinner with all his, um, he still has friends from uh, high school. <laughs> so every so often they all get together and go have dinner or lunch or something. He did that yesterday, that was, he had fun with that. There's quite a group of them too. I'm, I'm just always amazed. I mean, I went to a very small school, so um, I still only talk with a couple of people that I went to school with, but he has uh, quite a few good friends still, which is awesome. He's a little bit better at the friend thing than I am, I think, anyway. I'm just not uh, good at keeping in touch with people. So see, you, with being able to put, you could put as many tabs as you wanted to on, obviously. Or hinges, I guess. Tabs are the other things that stick out, aren't they? But anyways, you know what I'm talking about. These little pieces of fabric. You could put more. I don't know that I would go less because um, obviously then you're going to get the weird hangy thing happening. I'll trim that fabric when it dries. I just don't want to mess with it anymore right now than I have to. Just trying to straighten it out a little bit. So this one should be pretty good. It looks good. And that one looks good. Probably get rid of that now. This one could probably use that. We're just gonna... Eh, nope. the, if you do this every so often, it's gonna just help with the you know, hopefully it'll all get bound right back here. Okay. Set that aside and hope that it dries okay. So probably with these, it might be better to just go ahead and use um, paper, which is what we're gonna use for this one. And this one isn't Christmassy or wintry or anything. These are just pieces of ephemera from different 50 stack challenges and things. So that's what I'm using. And I just have pieces of paper. These are about, I don't even know, one and a half, I think long. Yeah, one and a half by, I think I did one inch, yeah. So, and you can make them the size that you wanna make them. And I'm gonna probably trim these down a little bit with a kind of a duckly edge or something. I think I'll use the pinking shears, but you could use, you know, any edge that you want. I just like pinking shears. So I'll do that. And then this one is probably only going to tolerate one hinge, obviously, since it's this circle. And we can already see there's a dilemma here because we have the pocket right there. So these are all things that you just kind of have to fiddle with until you get, so I'm just gonna make this this side a touch shorter. Cause I don't care if I get it on the edge there, like this. So we can get our items in and out of the pocket without them being stuck. For now, I'm just gonna kind of take them out of there and I'm gonna come in. And it's still, I'm going to actually ink this, which you'll have to think about too. Um, a double-sided paper would probably be preferable, but you can't always find something that matches or whatever that's double-sided, so you got to kind of just go with it. And I'm going to use the Elaine's Tacky Glue again. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to use Barely Art. Since it is paper on paper, that'll work fine. It doesn't have to be major glue. 
and I just need to decide. I think I can take just a tiny bit more off. Now, normally you're not gonna have to worry about that because, you know, you won't always have a pocket right there, but because this is already a made piece of ephemera, And I did not put the glue um, all the way at the tip top of that hinge. And I'm gonna let that hinge stick out just a little bit, just like barely. And again, that's for the opening and closing factor, just so that they're not so close together that you can't open it. Now let's make sure this fits before we glue it together and it doesn't work. Yeah, so that'll, that's gonna work fine. So, you know, some things will just take some finagling. Other things will be easy and I don't, I still, I don't need quite that much either. So you can just customize them to the size that you need. They don't all have to be identical. Oops, that's kind of not in the middle, is it? Well, it's going to have a little, tiny tilt to it. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention there. And then I'm just going to hold it. I want to get that lined up at least. Go over just a tiny bit again for opening and closing. And should open. See, the paper is a lot easier to deal with. it doesn't have the ease of pulling off that the other did and then I'm just gonna fold this in half again and you just go like that and you can do as many as you want I usually do five or six pieces per um, you know per per book and this I can just kind of tuck so this one's gonna be no problem I won't have to mess with this at all oh this one I can do more than one hinge, I forgot. So I can do one up a little higher just for stability. So I will do that because that's just always a, a better plan. Just the circle on the front is only going to handle one hinge. And again, you can see this edge, I'm kind of letting it go. I'm letting that fold go out away from this, um, the item's edge just a tiny bit so that it can open and close without getting caught up. Oh, I didn't ink this. And you can ink these or not. I mean, it's gonna depend on the pieces that you're using and whatever, you know, like everything else. You could put three on here. I'm just gonna do two. But you do you. And I'm using walnut stain if you're wondering. Normally we don't have to do the backs of our pieces, but because you're going to see it at the hinge. And sometimes I will put a piece of lace or something over that too. If you don't like the way it looks, you can do that. I used to do these every year, hinge journals, for Christmas, and I just kind of, you know, got out of the habit or whatever. But they are fun, and I do think they make good gifts. I just had lots of other things happening this year. And I will put these in the shop uh, as I, you know, make them and whatever. Oh, I need to show you guys the Santa journal. I keep meaning to do that, and I keep forgetting, and it's like... You guys probably want to see it since I started that. I'm just going to kind of go in the middle of this piece. As well as I can. So this opens like this. 
Yes, the paper is far easier. I didn't put anything in that pocket. I'll have to put something in there before it goes away. And then this one's probably gonna be another one that can only take one hinge because it's the oval of the circle. <laughs> These two I made at the same time. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to get two on there. So yeah, it's going to be a little more fragile, but I think it'll be all right. Again, the paper doesn't have the tendency to flop as much as the fabric. Oh, I need to back that. I mean, you wouldn't have to. It is plain white envelope but it's just gotten kind of you know with the inky fingers and all it gets a little bit messy so we'll just back it so it looks nicer a lot of these things were made to be put onto a journal page so hence the reason that they aren't backed they weren't meant to be I think this is a great thing to do though if you want to make fast gifts for friends and stuff if they like journals and whatnot because you could put all kinds of ephemera into the pockets and stuff if you wanted to so it's like a whole little gift all in one darn ears keep filling up with um, fluid. You know, how sometimes they do in the winter, like you, your sinuses fill up or whatever and they're making my teeth hurt. And I know it's not my teeth because I have this happen quite often in the winter and I go to the dentist and the dentist is like, no, your teeth are fine. Um, but anyways, it's just annoying. So I took some decongestant and now I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I don't like decongestant. I don't like taking anything, honestly. There's always some weird side effect I get. But I don't like my teeth hurting either, so I don't know, what do you do? I have the weirdest stuff <laughs> go on. It's the dry, I need to get the humidifier going, but I'm horrible at that. I don't really like it out all the time. But anyway, blah, blah me, so. You could also use just coffee dyed paper. If you're doing this and you're like, I don't have anything that goes with what I'm doing. Just use coffee dyed. It's just kind of nice to use something a little bit thicker. This is like a lightweight cardstock that I had a scrap of that worked so but you can really use any type of paper I would I don't know that I would do copy weight uh, paper because it's opening and closing right and what happens to paper after it opens and closes so many times it will just tear so um, that's why I prefer a little bit thicker paper could do it with washi tape but uh, I would definitely use glue too for that because as we all know, washi isn't the best for lasting as far as stickiness goes. Oh, you know what? I don't want that. It needs to be kind of even with this. I want it to stick out below that. I just thought of that. Because then if you try to stand it at all, it's not gonna work. So I need to wipe that off. And then, did I put anything in this? Oh, I did. Put just a piece in there. It's kind of smaller because it's the only thing that'll fit. And then we got the teddy bear. That'll help hold that oval in place. And we'll probably, uh, I can only really use one, huh, again. 
because of the way the oval is. After I do this, I will show you the Santa uh, journal and then we'll revisit these and see how they dried. They, I think this one's fine. I'm not sure about the fabric one. So paper might be a better idea for these type of hinges. Not that you can't use the other, but. The big thing is trying to keep your hinges as even as possible. And then I'm gonna kinda, I think I can squeeze that under that lace. We'll see. glued, isn't it? Hmm. I guess we'll just put it on. Whoopsies. Don't want to move that. Uh-oh. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I am back, sorry about that. That was my daughter, and every time she calls me from the school, her, or it ends up calling my iPad weird. But anyhow, <laughs> um, so this one is all good because it's uh, on paper on paper, so it dried very easily. I mean, it's a little wobbly because of having only one uh, hinge there and there, but I think I think it's fine. It doesn't feel like it's flopping over sideways or anything. And this one turned out pretty good too. It um, is all dry. So it worked out well. The only thing that is weird is that uh, the color from the Tim Holtz Distress Oxides got on the fabric. So paper probably would have been a better choice. But I mean, it works fine and I can fix like things like this sticking up just put a little more glue and hopefully it will stick down so yeah just just a couple of versions of making tabbed or hinged journals and I will show you our all-in-one Santa journal now that it's complete so it's just tied with some I don't know some kind of trim <laughs> I don't know what you would call that and then it's got the little collage and I did add this trim also the stripe trim but mostly this one is the all-in-one Santa journal except for you know there are a few pieces fabric and whatnot that obviously can't go in a digital but um yeah just to show you guys that these I think would make a fantastic gift so anyways there's the this pocket built little belly band that's all in the kit except for fabric these pages are in the kit this is just coffee dyed paper if you don't have access I mean you can get this on Etsy but say you're just starting out and you're like I just don't have anything you can just use any other scrapbook paper or more of the pages from the kit or whatever I just added coffee dyed it's pretty easy even to do plain coffee dyed paper and then this is a Tim Holtz piece so items that aren't hard to get anyway and our belly band all that's in the kit except the words are from um, Jolene at a jewel design and that cards in there I just added the stamp and this is one of my bingo bit digital and this pocket has three tags all from the kit I've added words and those aren't in the kit but you can usually come by those fairly easily I did add just a touch of glue at the corner of this and that helps hold those in so they don't fall over so easily and then that's just in, in one of the fussy cuts from the kit and my writing pages this tags in the kit along with 
this and the belly band and the dot and washi tape not in the kit, but easy to come by. Or you could use just paper. Little pocket there. Doily, that's from the dollar store. So I kept this pretty simple because I did want it to be something that you could really do with minimal, minimal items. These are Tim Holtz bits, and then there's that little pocket there with just that little Tim Holtz um, tag in there, sticker. This one has extra writing space, tag. Just added some of the bits from the kit onto here with some book page. Little upward tuck with some extra writing space. And then this is a Tim Holtz piece. Tag from the kit. And that Santa there is in the kit. So yeah, pretty, pretty simple. And I will put this in the shop. So if you're interested, I don't know, I can't, I, I'm pretty sure it should get there by Christmas, but I'm not going to say, because that's more of a, um, it usually tells you though on Etsy, when you purchase, it'll tell you its arrival. And I'm, I try to always get things out usually the next day. If not, it'll be just the day after, but it's not long. So anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and we will chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.